Hello friends, welcome to Freshers Live. Today is 5th March. Here I will discuss all the important questions that may be asked from today's current affairs and important facts related with each question. So watch the video very carefully and try to answer the question asked at the end of the video. You can download the PDF of the video from the link provided in the description. You can also download the PDF from our website as well as telegram groups. Also you can find the link for the Hindi version of this video in the below given description box. The link for the Hindi current affairs is given there. Before moving forward, let's check the answer for the question asked in the last video. Who is the acting president of Algeria? The correct answer is Option C. Abdel Kader Benzilla. Now, let's begin our session for today. Here comes our question number 1. Which of the following report released by FSIN said that 113 million people in 53 countries faced acute hunger in 2019? The correct answer is Option C. Global Report on Food Crisis According to a new joint UN and European Union report, more than 113 million people across 53 countries experienced acute hunger last year with conflict, climate-related disasters, and economic turbulence mainly driving the food insecurity crisis. Global Report on Food Crisis 2019 prepared by 15 leading global and regional organizations was led by UN Food and Agriculture Organization, the World Food Program and International Food Policy Research Institute. It was released by Food Security Information Network. According to the report, nearly two-thirds of those facing acute hunger come from just eight countries, Afghanistan, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Ethiopia, Nigeria, South Sudan, Sudan, Syria and Yemen. Now, let me share few more informations about the Food and Agriculture Organization. It is a specialized agency of the United Nations that leads international efforts to defeat hunger. It is headquartered at Rome, Italy. It was founded on 16th October 1945. The goal of FAO is to achieve food security for all and make sure that people have regular access to enough high quality food to lead activity healthy lives. Heading to our question number 2. Which country launched world's first national 5G network? The correct answer is Option C. South Korea South Korea launched the world's first fully-fledged 5G mobile networks. The system will bring smartphones near instantaneous connectivity 20 times faster than the existing 4G, allowing users to download entire movies in less than a second. It is crucial for the future development of devices ranging from self-driving vehicles that send data traffic to one another in real time, industrial robots, drones and other elements of the Internet of Things. Now, let me share few more informations about South Korea. The capital is Seoul. The currency is South Korean won. The president is Moon Jae-in. The prime minister is Lee Nak-yeon. Now, moving to our question number 3. When does India observe National Maritime Day? The correct answer is Option B. April 5. April 5 is celebrated as the National Maritime Day in India every year. The day is being observed since 1964. 100 years ago on this day in 1919, navigation history was created when SS Loyalty, the first ship of the SC India Steam Navigation Company Limited, traveled to the United Kingdom from Mumbai. It was a crucial step for India shipping history when sea routes were controlled by the British. It marked a red letter day in the maritime history of India. This day is celebrated to spread awareness in supporting intercontinental commerce and the global economy. The theme of the 56th edition of the National Maritime Day is Indian Ocean and Ocean of Opportunity. 
National Maritime Day 2019 awards the Varuna award will also be given for outstanding contribution to Indian maritime sector moving to our question number 4 which of the following company acquired chatbot making startup haptic for rupees 700 crores the correct answer is Option B Reliance Geo Digital Reliance Geo Digital a subsidiary of Reliance Industries acquired a chatbot making startup firm Haptic worth rupees 700 crore In this rupees 700 crore deal rupees 230 crore will be used for business transaction and rupees 470 crore will be used for business expansion After this acquisition Reliance Geo Digital will now hold 87% stake in Haptic while existing Investar Times Internet which holds 70% stake will exit the company Haptic co-founder Akrit Vaish and Swapan Rajdev will have a minority stake that is 13% in Haptic. Now let me share few points about the Reliance. The chief executive officer is Mukesh Ambani. The founder is Dhirubhai Ambani. It was founded on 8 May 1973 in Maharashtra. Haptic is the sixth company to be acquired by Reliance Industries in the last two months. Heading to our Question number 5 Which social network unveiled checkpoint to plan to check authenticity of news The correct answer is Option C WhatsApp Messenger Messaging app WhatsApp along with Proto unveiled a platform named Checkpoint Reply which can review the content in the form of pictures video links or text the usage of the platform is the subscribers in india can submit misinformation or rumors they receive to the checkpoint tip line on whatsapp after sharing the information the app will check with the checkpoints and inform the user whether the submitted information is fake or not using the key terms true false misleading disputed or out of scope and include any other related information that is available the platform can review the text in english as well as in four regional languages namely hindi telugu bengali and malayalam can also be reviewed this app is unveiled by an indian based media skilling startup proto Along with Proto, WhatsApp will create a database of rumors to study misinformation during elections for checkpoint. Heading to our question number 6. Where does India plan to set up the India Africa Institute of Agriculture and Rural Development? The correct answer is Option C, Malawi. The Ministry of External Affairs has signed an MOU with National Bank of Agriculture and Rural Development Consultancy Service for setting up India Africa Institute of Agriculture and Rural Development in Malawi IAIARD would be a pan african institute wherein trainees from Malawi and other african countries will receive training to develop their human resource and build their capacity it will impart training in the area of microfinancing and agrofinancing among others IAIARD is the first of its kind initiative undertaken in an african country by india it will further strengthen the bilateral relation with malawi and india's relations with the african union nabad consultancy service is a fully owned subsidiary promoted by national bank for agriculture and rural development napcons is engaged in providing consultancy in all spheres of agriculture rural development and allied areas moving to our question number 7 which country honored india's prime minister narendra modi with its highest civilian award zayed medal the correct answer is Option A United Arab Emirates President of the UAE Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan honored Prime Minister Narendra Modi 
with the prestigious Zayed Medal for boosting relations between the Emirates and India. The Order of Zayed is the highest civilian decoration instituted by the UAE. It consists of a collar centered by a medallion bearing the name Zayed, the founding father of the United Arab Emirates. In the past, this award has been conferred to Russian President Vladimir Putin, then US President George W. Bush, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Chinese President Xi Jinping and the UK's Queen Elizabeth II. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has visited UAE twice in three years. The Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi also visited India in 2017. Now let me share few points about UAE. The President is Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Prime Minister is Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The capital is Abu Dhabi. The currency is Dirham. Heading to our question number 8. Who has been appointed as the new Managing Director of LIC? The correct answer is Option D. Vipin Anand. Vipin Anand was appointed as the Managing Director of the Life Insurance Corporation of India by the government last month. He was instrumental in setting up LIC's operation in Singapore and Bangladesh. Life Insurance Corporation Executive Board comprises of one chairman and four managing directors. On March 13, 2019, the government appointed M. R. Kumar as the chairman of Life Insurance Corporation and P. C. Susil Kumar as the managing director. Now let me share few points about LIC. LIC is Life Insurance Corporation of India. It is the largest insurance company in India. It is headquartered at Mumbai. It was founded on 1st September 1956. The owner is Government of India. Moving to our question number 9. To which of the following norms in bad loan divergence did RBI make amends recently? The correct answer is Option A. Non-performing asset disclosure norm. The bad loan divergence practice was mandated by RBI to improve the transparency in asset classification. Now, RBI has brought changes to the bad loan divergence rule. The reason for this is that some banks on account of low or negative net profit after tax were forced to disclose divergence even where the additional provisioning assessed by the RBI was small. This was contrary to the regulatory intent that only material divergence should be disclosed. Now, let me share the changes brought in by the RBI in NPA disclosure norms. Banks are required to disclose divergence when the additional provisioning for NPAs assessed by RBI exceeds 10% for the reported profit before provisions and contingencies for the reference period instead of the earlier rule of 15% of the published net profits after tax. The norms on the divergence on gross non-performing assets continues to be material divergence of 15% has left unchanged. Moving to our last question, question number 10. Recently, from which state did Armed Force Act withdraw its power from three of nine districts of the state? The correct answer is Option D. Arunachal Pradesh. The Armed Forces Act was partially removed from three of nine districts of Arunachal Pradesh but would remain in force in the areas bordering Myanmar. The state of Arunachal Pradesh has inherited AFSPA since 1987, the day of its formation. AFSPA is enacted by parliament in 1958 and was applied to the entire state of Assam and the United Union Territory of Manipur. After Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Mizoram and Nagaland came into being, the act was appropriately adopted to apply to these states as well. The controversial provisions of AFSPA 
SPA is it empowers an authorized officer in a distributed area with certain powers including open fire at any individual even if it results in death if the individual violates the law the authorized officer is also empowered to arrest without a warrant seize and search without any warrant any premise in order to make an arrest or recovery of hostages arms and ammunition afspa mentions that individuals who have been taken into custody have to be handed over to the nearest police station as soon as possible there is no prescribed time limit for detention Justice Santosh H committee found four of six deaths could be cases of fake encounters JS Verma committee and the Justice Jeevan Reddy committee have found the law arbitrary and have recommended the repeal of AFSPA to conclude this session here comes the question of the day where is the headquarters of UN Food and Agriculture Organization located Try to answer the question and drop your answer in the comment box. Okay friends, that's for today. Thanks for watching our video. If you find the information provided in our video useful, please do like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Follow us regularly to stay updated on current affairs. Dear friends, are you looking for a job? End your search now. Visit freshoflight.com the next generation of placement network register yourself today and get placed in top companies until then this is freshers life signing out from current affairs video take care